Hello, this is Cynthia Sue Larson with RealityShifters.com and today I'm talking with you about observation and identity and also the whole idea of influence and reality shifts. So this concept of observation is critical. It's pretty key to quantum mechanics because there's something called the measurement problem and the observer effect and what all of this is getting at is the concept that when you're not looking is reality the same way everywhere for everyone and it doesn't look like it is at least based on what we're able to observe at the at the so-called quantum scale now of course anybody working toward the theory of everything does not want to talk about the quantum scale, the, the Planck scale, and what's in the realm of the so-called very, very small, but instead recognizes that we do expect to see quantum influence at every so-called level of reality. What this means for observation is that to observe is to choose a measurement system. This is something Henry Stapp has been writing about for a long time using his concept um, based along the lines of the, the original quantum theory of the Copenhagen uh, idea of the collapse of the wave function, the so-called collapse, where the simple choice of a measurement system, an apparatus, and observing system, which would involve usually a person at some point, as well as whatever equipment is involved, um, that that very selection, that, that very choice that is made, is already having an effect on what will be observed. This runs counter to the classical vision of physics that we've seen throughout hundreds of years in Western science. And it seems a little bit counterintuitive to a lot of people, to the idea that the observer absolutely has an effect on what's being observed. And so what I've been proposing and thinking about is looking at influence in addition to observation and recognizing that there is work being done by some of the physicists at the uh, Perimeter Institute, uh, some of the same ones that I've talked about their work in the past. Uh, they're definitely looking at quantum steering, where, again, in the so-called quantum realm, they're able to have one observer, Alice, affect the observation of a quantum system being run by Bob, just for the letters A and B and purposes of uh, just hypothetical situation. and. In these sorts of circumstances, there are parabolas of influence. There are mathematical ways to construct the sorts of influence you'd expect to see when entangled quantum particles are being observed um, over by Bob. Can Alice have an effect on that system? And the answer is yes, she can. And then uh, this has implications for quantum computing and also for artificial intelligence down the road and so forth. So this, these are big topics. And it also ties in with this idea of Wigner's friend, which gets back to the Schrodinger's cat. Now, Schrodinger, Schro Schrodinger was a physicist who contemplated what he thought was a out, sort of an outrageous experiment, Gandonkin experiment, a thought experiment, where if if we were imagining that a cat was placed in a box with a vial of poison and there was some kind of an instrumentation set up so the random radioactive decay of some isotope would be able to trigger the release of a poison capsule in the container with the cat. The ridiculous part of the experiment that Irving Schrodinger was proposing was that it seems unlikely that we could conceive of a cat who's both alive and not alive who's dead and alive at the same time. Yet that's what quantum physics expects us to consider. This sort of a quasi state of unresolved uncertainty of a world of possibilities. And when you bring in Wigner's friend, then you've got an observer um, observing the system. So you don't just have the Schrodinger's cat, but you've got Schrodinger's friend, uh, Wigner's friend, <laughs> who's observing the whole system of someone observing the cat. You see where this is going. It has to do with how far does this go? How deep does it go? And it's one of those things that looks like turtles all the way down. <laughs> it's another, uh, just a joke. But it means that no matter how far you look, you're going to see that someone else could be observing the system, therefore could be observing, um, influencing the outcome based on their observation. 
So these are questions more than answers today, but they're things I'd like you to think about when you recognize that you're awake within this waking dream. You're not just an actor, just a puppet in life. You're also an observer. You're paying attention. You're asking how good can it get. So until next time, this is Cynthia Sue Larson reminding you to keep asking my favorite question, how good can it get? Take care.